We lost them, for now. Do you have any idea what's going on? Do you really think the minister planned to frame us from the beginning? I just... I... I can't bring myself to believe that Max knowingly betrayed me. After what we just went through, it's difficult to deny. Somebody wants you dead. Oh, I don't know who to trust anymore. It's... it's all too complicated now. I agree. It's hard to know how to proceed. I think the best way to address this is to confront Max directly. But Captain, that's insanity! Shalom! The person who we saw do the deed that nearly got us killed isn't going to have an audience with us. And that's even a minor consideration relative to the fact that we can't even make our way back to Bernstein Kingdom. I believed this to be the break I had been waiting for, and now it appears I've become a part of some sinister plot. How I wish I had never even been chosen to accompany you! You're talking like we really are the bad guys! We're not, remember? Idiot! I know we're not the bad guys, but that really doesn't matter! Everyone in Rolandia, and probably Bernstein by now, thinks we are the ones that killed the guards and broke the dam. Charlone. I apologize for dragging you into this. Once I realized what was happening, I should have directed all the attention to me. I must be the one they want. Regardless of what happens, I won't let you take the blame for what Max did. Captain... I know it's difficult because of what just happened, but you have to trust me. Okay, we gotta get a plan to clear our names. Agreed. Clearing our names must be the first order of business. Cool, Chief! But... How? The woman that saw Max break the dam is the key to all of this. I'm sure I met her at the Magic Academy. Her name is Corrine, and she said she tends a hospital in Grandchill. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find her! Ah, here it is. Oh, pardon me. No harm done. You can help us, though. We're looking for Corrine. Is she inside? Corrine? Haven't you heard? Heard what? She hasn't returned for a number of days. I was just setting out to look for her. Well, we had no idea. In fact, we came a long way just to see her. So you came to see her about a specific matter? I'm Zenos, Kareen's brother. Perhaps you can tell me what you wish to ask her. Well, all right. I'll tell you, but it's quite a long and unbelievable story. So please don't interrupt until I've told you everything. We are of Bernstein Kingdom. Hmm. I understand. You came here because Corrine is the only one who can prove your innocence. Exactly. But if she's not here, there's no reason to. Why don't you join me in looking for her then? I've been with her on herb gathering trips, so I believe I know where she may be. If we fail to find her, I can use my connections here in Rolandia to get new leads. Ah! Why did you shriek? Is something wrong? I knew you were familiar! You're the Xenos that teamed with the Grausians to defeat Venzern! Well, yes. I was involved with that. But it was just my job. Captain! With his help, I'm sure we can clear up the mess we're in! Well... That sounds great. In fact, I was thinking the very same thing, Charlone. Thank you, sir. Xenos, we'll do our best to help you find your sister. Just don't forget about our problem when we do. Deal. Enough talking. We leave at once for the mountains northeast of Agris. I believe we will find Kareen there.
As Wayne and the others depart for the mountains to search for the woman that can clear their name, Rolandia's newly crowned King Cornelius has issued an order to mobilize Rolandia's military. Wallace, who has now become a Rolandian general in the year that's passed since he fought alongside Carmaine, is extremely troubled by this unusual peacetime edict. <laughs>